So what I'd like to do is draw some resin and structure. I'd like to start with the carbonate ion. Carbonate, as you know, has the formula CO3 with a 2 minus charge. This means for the carbon we have 4 electrons. We have 6 electrons from each of the 3 oxygens. We have an additional 2 electrons because of that negative charge. So 16 plus 2, I'm sorry, 18 plus 2 is 20 plus 4, is, that's 24 electrons. We have 24 valence electrons in this structure. So let's draw some resonance structures for carbonate. Alright, so I'll put carbon in the middle because carbon usually goes in the middle if we have it. And we have three oxygens outside of it. And one way we could draw this is to put the double bond in the top position. Put all of our lone pair of electrons in. Alright, and this is a very nice Lewis structure for the carbonate ion. Show that 2 minus charge outside of the bracket. However, it's not the only option. I could just as equally have drawn the double bond in the lower left. Alright. And again, there's another structure. There's a third choice as well. I actually have three equivalent structures that I could draw for the carbonate ion. The third structure has a double bond in the bottom right. That didn't show up very well. All right. So I have three equivalent structures. The truth is, the, um, the real best um, picture of carbonate is something in the middle, where all of the carbon-oxygen bond lengths are actually identical. And that's actually a better depiction. But we just can't do that properly in Lewis diagrams. Finally, let's draw the resonance structures for the nitrite ion. Nitrite is NO2 with a minus 1 charge. So that gives us 5 plus 12 plus 1 electron, which means that's 18 electrons altogether. For the nitrite ion, we have nitrogen in the middle, oxygen's on either side. I can do my double bond on the left. And put the bracket outside. Or I could have chosen to put my double bond on the right. And there I have two equivalent structures. The true structure is something in the middle. Okay, there are two resonance structures, but the um, the best depiction of the nitrite ion suggests that the nitrogen. And experimental evidence shows that the nitrogen oxygen bonds are the same. We don't have a single bond and a double bond. They're all about one and a half bonds all the way around. But that is not something we can easily draw in Lewis structures. And we actually need a different bonding model to talk about that.